welcome to today's video tutorial in our last video tutorial we talked about creating models we talked about creating fields for our models and we also talked about the relationship that exists between our models in today's session we will talk about adding our models to our admin.py file now adding our models to our admin.py file enables our models to be added to our administrative panel now, Django provides an administrative panel for us, so we will not have to stress ourselves building a new administrative site from scratch. So to access the administrative panel, you go to the route slash admin. So this route, but I am not running my server yet. So let's just get that done. So Python manage pi. Server. Right. Now we can navigate to the admin panel. But for now, let's leave that aside. Let's go over to our admin.py file. Now, in our admin.py file, the first thing we need to do is we need to import our models. So from the models import students oh. now we can see that there is a class that is being imported from the django.contrib library now this class enables our models to be added to the administrative site itself so we do that by using the command admin .sites or register students. Oh, let's just use cool. It doesn't really matter what order you do that. Students. Great. So um, there's one other thing we need to do, and for that, I'll just create a new tab here. Then, um, if you recall, when we were talking about virtual environments, um, I mentioned that when you have pip env already created in your project, running the pip env shell command, this pip env shell command, it doesn't create a new virtual environment for you rather it just activates the one you have already so it activates the one we created yeah so so now we can create what is known as a super user so a super user is needed for our admin sites because the super user acts as the admin for our site so the super user logs in into the admin panel so to create our super user, we use the command Python manage the pi create super user. Okay, so like I said in the last um, tutorial, I'll just ignore this. This is just for me only. It's a personal warning. Okay, so let's let's see any email address tests at the form password okay saying the password is so common bypass password validation and create yes. yes okay good so now we've created our super user so let's head over to our admin panel to see if we can log in so i think the username was any and the password was password. Great, great, great. So um, if you notice, we have our school model here and our students model here. So let's just see what will happen if we if we remove this. Let, let's see what will happen. Is our server still running? Yeah. So can you see it gets unregistered in our admin site so that is one way we can actually register our models so when you click 
over this you can see that there is no model created so in the next video tutorial we are going to see how we can create um, our models how we can actually perform crude operations or crud operations on our Django models. So please stick with the class and don't go anywhere.